to some well, people. It's okay, it's just the opposite now. <laughs> So about uh, three years ago, I was wondering where are the developers in Singapore? And the developer community in Singapore wasn't so active as of today. So what I did as of December 28, 2012, I just created an HTML static page and I just started listing down all the developer events and all the open source repositories above a certain number of stars from GitHub. And it was possible to do it statically because there were only, what, 10 events per month, five events per month. So that was going on pretty well and I started being busybody and I started attending them as well. <clears throat> can you show the source of the first page? Uh, well, yes you can, it's just an HTML page. You, you wanna see it now? <laughs> you know, you're, if you're not embarrassed by your first commit, I think, uh, yeah. No, come on, let me talk about the intelligence that is put in today as opposed to the static site. So today the page it looks a lot like this. So how many of you are here in this meetup for the first time? Wow. Dan, are you taking notes? That's 50%. <laughs> That's great, so keep coming back. How many of you have attended a developer meetup in Singapore other than today? Other than today, yeah. Oh, how many of you have not attended? Awesome, so there are a few of you, and this is the website to go. It's called webuild.sg, the same static site that I built three years ago. But today the design is still exactly the same, but let me explain to you how we, like together with me and other developers like you from Singapore, have forked and merged and pull requested and made it better so that I don't need to go in there every other day. And it's probably better because every month now we have an average of 60, like two events per day. So let me tell you how it works. Like uh, when I came here first and I said that I'm gonna talk about some stats, people were like, how are you taking the stats? So on the left hand side, we query Facebook API, Eventbrite API, meetup.com API, and some URLs like copy.js or hack and tell, which only publishes ICS URL, we take it, we query it, every hour a cron job runs, and we basically chronologically order it. Right, a programmer, right? Why do we need a static page anymore? And you can also subscribe to it, and there's a calendar URL here, uh, webuild.sg slash calendar. HTTPS, please, you know. Uh -huh. This is 2016, yeah. and Cloudflare has free SSL. So go ahead and use it. All right, so you can also subscribe to it. <clears throat> On the right hand, so I, I was like, going to events is not enough because we must be coding and creating the projects ourselves. So what I did is, on the right hand side, I query the GitHub API. And then I query, so all of you, please put Singapore as one of the cities in your location. And if you do that, and if you have repositories that has been updated within the last three months, and at least 50 stars, because we want to be looking at something that's quite recent, then your repository will come here. And once again, since it is updated every hour, you get fresh notifications. Oh, 30 minutes, seven minutes ago, this, this person updated it. We also query organizations, all right? So that is what the, uh, <clears throat> the website is. But we never really stored the data, because who really cares about past events? You just want to know, hey, what events are there tonight? What events are there next week? Who, yes, hi. Right there, but we must know the historical. Events. That's exactly what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was Stats it? and charts, that's exactly. I thought you were saying who cares and like. Yes, no yes, I know, I know. I'm coming. Okay, but cares. I care. <laughs> Some of us do. Exactly, you do, and that's what this talk is all about. And even for the open source repository, who cares about the past data? But until this guy, V, who is our friend, he was like, I want to do some math. Where are the past events? I was like, uh, it's not backed up by any database. Uh, okay, AWS is expensive. It's a side project. So what can we do? Once again, this is where the project comes, data.weevil.sgkai. And we have another repository for this. So once again, it's all in GitHub. It's open sourced. And we found basically a hack. 
But before that, let me show you the website. So currently, there are 10 charts here, and I'm going to be going through some of them. Okay, I'm feeling a bit excited. Uh, or is it the air con that's <laughs> off? No, you're strange. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thank you, Kai. Oh, come join me. Okay, <clears throat> so there are 10 um, graphs here. All right, so what we do, how do we store these past events? It's, like, it's going to not be a database, is it? It's not be database. It's going to be flat files. Okay, great. Who is excited about flat files? But this is a hack, all right, because uh, we are cheap. And so what we did is that we take two snapshots every day at 3 a.m. while all of us are sleeping, one for events and one for repository. So over the course of last year, this was implemented in 2014, December, that we started collecting the snapshots. Over the course of 2015, it just kept collecting and collecting and collecting. So as you can see here, lots and lots and lots of JSON files. Until, you know, you have a holiday and then you're like, okay, my job is done. It's a bit of lull period. Let me go and code it out. So let me also talk a little bit about the API endpoint. So this is we build as g slash API slash v1 slash repost. So this is basically what it looks like. So repost is a node, which is basically an array of objects. And similarly, we also have a node for events. As you can see, this is the go one. Yeah, there you go. That's the go one. So we collect name, description, latitude, longitude, location, URL, start time, and time. And every day, it will only collect the one for the next 24 hours. All right? So that's the magic behind it. And that's how data.weevil.sg was born. And here are the 10 graphs. Are you curious to see the numbers? <coughs> I'm curious to see what our performance. <laughs> exactly. So let me tell you something. In it, you will see a very young developer community by the numbers, but it's definitely a growing one. And my point of coming here, even though I do not know Go yet, is to come and ask all of you to join in this growing story. This is an open community, a growing community, a learning community. Kai, you're not convinced. I just came here for pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I came here for the pizza too, but you know, to, for other fun stuff as well. I don't want to join a religion. Look at the statistics, how many events provide free pizza. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry? Statistics what? About free pizza. Sorry. <laughs> You know, unfortunately, uh, because we query the API, they do not have a pizza underscore count uh, number. If that is, ha if they provide a Facebook meetup and Eventbrite provides that, I'm I'm happy to collect it. So, <coughs> parse, yeah, maybe I have to do some uh, language processing, right, on it. Maybe somebody should write an AI library for it in Go, and then I can use that. All right, so. This is what it looks like for repositories. As you can see, this is from January 2015. By the way, this is a weekly data. This is a weekly data, and it shows how many repositories above 50 stars. So you can see that the highest one was achieved like, uh, I don't know, during the week of Chinese New Year, huh? where the coders like coding a lot, like while people were house visiting, I have no idea why. Like when that holiday, they were coding. But uh, there are 35. This is a small number, but it is definitely a lot more than just a year ago, which is like almost three times. And uh, so I think um, I kind of queried Melbourne. Melbourne is about double Singapore, and Beijing is about four times of Singapore. So just to give a, you a comparison. Querying by San Francisco is not good because Cupertino, Apple writes it as Cupertino, Google writes it as Mountain View, so it's, it's not really good, but I queried by cities that, that has that data. You had a question. I was just wondering, and this is great by the way, thanks, thanks so much for sharing. So is that repositories that are owned in GitHub by a Singaporean, or so, is it updates from Singaporean developers to any GitHub? Very good question. So what we do, we query, uh, we do a GitHub search of users with location, containing Singapore, not a match. So you can write Brisbane, comma, Singapore, comma, Beijing. You know, some of us are a bit mobile. So as long as you have Singapore as one of your hub, put it inside and your repository will grab, be grabbed. What is it? So I live in Singapore, I have a Singapore tag. Yeah, um, location. 
Yeah, so if I go in and update a repository that is owned, created by somebody living in the US, does that get tracked? Or is it oh, that means uh, you're pull requesting and get merged, right? No, yeah. no, okay. it doesn't. It's owned, owned repository. Yes, Great. that's right. Thanks. So basically, you have to write Singapore like this. Yeah. yeah. Um, but let me tell you something. Uh, ThoughtWorks comes up as one of the organizations because they have Beijing, comma, Australia, comma, Singapore, comma. So if your organization puts uh, Singapore as one of the string because you happen to be one of the contributors, it will come up as well. So there's ThoughtWorks. There are some uh, big companies as well which comes up as part of Singapore. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, so that was the graph on repositories. Definitely a growing one. And the next one is update per programming language. Are you curious to see Go? Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. JavaScript. Okay. PHP. <laughs> oh, oh, now everybody is so, everybody is so curious. So Julia did go just. Julia did go. Yeah, Julia. No, Julia is one and Pearl is one. Cool. Yeah, Pearl. Pearl. Ready number five, guys. Work hard. So there is like, yeah, objective C. I, I don't know what is this, like Jupyter Notebook. I have to use this. Hi Python. But you shouldn't it come out under Python? It's, a, it's different. Okay. It's used in schools. All right, all right. But anyway, uh, it, it, we will be, come on, people. It just means that Go is young, like Singapore. Coffee script. And, <laughs> I know coffee script is, yeah. There is, there is no scholar, so it's better than scholars. <laughs> actually, the, actually, um, you are right, um, because this is done by the GitHub language. So if you go to language.yaml in one of their files, there are so, I think there are about 100 to 200 language, and Singapore only has a subset. So go and try a brain fuck if you want, or, you know, some weird language. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, um, the next one that I want to show you is active user group with more than five events. And uh, I, think, I think I'm immediately going to mention, oops, Go SG. So a big round of applause to Go. And I have a Ferro Rocher for the organizer who makes it happen. I know it was Audrey. But Dan, this is for okay, 2016. I, I received the Audrey Hammer for Audrey. And, and you for 2016. <laughs> <laughs> but really, all of you here, you know, especially if you're here for the first time for a developer meetup, these are the meetup groups that have held at least five events, you know, for the past 52 weeks. This is not stale data. Because we are querying API, this is not static, and this will change. If you do not hold more than five weeks, it will just drop off automatically. So please go and check out, you know. Uh, may I have the permission to uh, 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 kind of promote other? <laughs> yes, of course I do. Uh, but yeah, seriously, go, <laughs> go and check out. Even FOSS Asia, by the way, I know, I know York is here. Uh, or. Um, Go or Hackerspace, Haskell, iOS Dev Scout. So go. Hack and Tell, where's that? Yes, uh, uh, maybe. Singapore. What the? Hack and Tell is not there. You need to have at least five events high. Come on. <laughs> this is this is Trump. This is all about quantity over quality. Singapore, Go is a quantity event. My event is a quantity event. Could you have imagined there were so many that have held at least five events, not one, but five events over the course of the past 52 weeks? So go and attend some of them. I know some of the organizers are here, so just ask around and make friends and go attend them. Even help them organize it if you want. I'm sure people like Dan are always looking for co-organizers, right? Yes. <laughs> All right, the next graph that I'm going to show is about repositories for programming language. Are you curious? So this is where I kind of list them for programming language. So GitHub once again has a node called language, which is typically uh, the, uh, the majority of the project that uses that language, the main language. So shall I click go? Yes. Where is go? Ah, here. In your shadow? Yes, in your shadow. In my shadow, oh man. All right, so the first one is by Wen Xian, go nest JSON. I, I don't think he's here, I know him. Ah, you're, you're missing out for Rocher if you're not here. 
Uh, the next one is by Jashin Go by Chris. He's supposed to be here, right? Yeah, he, uh, he's Can I pass you his fur, Roshay? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you need me to pass a Is he giving a talk today? Uh, no, he's not here. He's uh, not. He's, uh, he's uh, six old. He can come today. And uh, Carl Seguin, uh, Ccash. But uh, this can be a good resource for organizers to get speakers as well. So go and, uh, I know Chris is supposed to talk, but go and get Wen Xian and Carl Seguin uh, to come and talk. So, and for all of you who are trying to get into gold, this will be a great resource because this developer actually has some connections to Singapore. So go and ping him or her and say, hey, can you help me out? Or, you know, I would like to contribute right. to your project. I've got to go, go repo with like one star. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, you should list that one's less than 50, too. I mean, it's a small community. All right, so, uh, so after doing this for three years, uh, his question is valid. Uh, the reason why we don't do that is to filter out noise. What? <laughs> 50 stars? You know, most people are idiots. Carry on. All right, uh, I'm, I'm open to, uh, last time it used to be 200, and then me and you know, some active contributors had a chat, and then we're like, we can go down to 50, but maybe not below it, because otherwise you'll have like, you know, everybody's repository there, and we really want the list to be kind of inspirational. And once you hit 50, it kind of signals that it has gotten a critical mass to be used by developers beyond around the world. Kai is not convinced. Let's carry on this discussion after I speak. <laughs> Well, All it's, right. it's true, actually. You're right. Oh, thank you. Getting a true or agreement from Kai is a compliment to me, so thank you. Uh, the next one uh, that I highly recommend is a popular event location. Like I said, I have the location string or the latitude longitude. This is uh, done in GeoJSON. So go and click it. If you are trying to create a new meetup, which I highly recommend, and if you create more than five, it will come up here. Uh, these are the events you can actually ping because these are the events that are held by other people. Uh, ThoughtWorks will be a bit difficult to find here. I have no idea. Where is ThoughtWorks? The other side. Uh, this one? Uh, Me? No. Uh, no. 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 This is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one? No. no. Trade Gecko. Oh, a moisture. Oh, there you go. ThoughtWorks. And who are from ThoughtWorks here? Maybe you can have some for Roche. Uh, Come on. Ona. She's bribing people with chocolates. <laughs> Thank you for holding so many meetup rooms here. It came out. Thank you. So really, I mean, go and look at each of them, and each of them will have the address as well as the groups that created it. And once again, you go to the meetup.com or the Facebook, and you ping the organizer, hey, can I have a contact to the location? So that's uh, events. So yeah, really, at the end of the day, just go and uh, look at the repository, which is webuild.sg slash data, and create an issue. If you feel like right now, there are no bugs, <coughs> but that's because people have not looked into it, my code. But uh, I have a, a lot of graphs to be plotted, uh, because I did not plot, say, the RSVP count, no pizza count, sorry, uh, repose by file size. So go and create some issues, it's right here. So lastly, I want to point out, like at the end of this, I kind of did the yearly data. So this was the data last year. 129 unique repositories from GitHub were updated. These were the update activities, that means Git commits, almost 1,000. These are the number of events, and these are the number of user groups. Can we beat this number this year? So as you can see, we're, we're doing so well here. <laughs> it's like almost half, right? It's like only February. I have a, I have a feeling that we will beat it. Uh, I don't know, it's so much push on Smart Nation and PM's visit to SF and, and Google opening office here. There'll be so many engineers. I, I, I have a positive feeling we'll beat it. But uh, really, it cannot be just done by Dan or ThoughtWorks. It has to be done by all of us. So this is a positive call and a fun call to action that, hey, contribute to it and make the numbers go up higher so that we can learn from the active and growing developer community. So please go and uh, follow the Facebook page. This is the We Build SG Facebook page. <coughs> or you can also follow the, Mita, uh, the Twitter page right here, or even the GitHub one. And uh, most importantly, 
Uh, this is the current live data. Don't forget about that. That's um, the one I talked about was the data that we will that you follow the events here, follow the open source, get inspired, join in, and most importantly, have fun. Thank you so much. Well done. I would love questions. Worry. Yeah, you should uh, at least help data.sg, you know. Uh, yeah, data.gov. Data their the team is really qualified. I mean, I, I know their tech stack and stuff. This is not what? even big data. This is like tiny bit of data. So what, what, what you do is you have a bunch of JSON files and yes. you process the entire folder of JSON files. Exactly. That's much easier. Data.gov is doing something very complicated because they have to pass through data that comes from CSV yes, to yes, Microsoft yes. Word, yes, which yes, I have yes. no idea how they parse. Correct. Huh? Crap. 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 Excel. Okay, uh, Excel. So they have different sources, whereas mine is just JSON file, which I control. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think I think they are doing. They have a good team there. So in fact, um, when I designed the data website, I actually went to their website, which I found. I also went to the U.S. Uh, data website, and uh, then I found the URL patterns, and I kind of copied some stuff from there. Like, you know, they have the charts there and you click one of them. Yeah. So that's a great um, suggestion. Thank you. Any other questions? What else should I plot or am I missing something? Use this data, please. Yeah. Do you is use there it? like a, a limit? I mean, what do you call it? API. Yeah, with the open source, is, you say it has to have 50 so yes. stars. Yes. But with the open <coughs> events, I mean, could, yeah. could I have an event and say two people show up? <laughs> <laughs> like my parties. <laughs> <laughs> And will that be counted? Like, I'm going to have the most awesome so, so, we do have criteria for open events as well. Number one, it must be free. So, uh, if can it. I have more open house events, please. Yeah. So, if someone could do a pool party and invite some girls. It has to be a developer party. I, I mean, a developer. <laughs> event. So, let me tell you, in Eventbrite, I query only a particular category, which is like 109 and one, which is a tech category. In Facebook, I manually curate them because Facebook, you have to go through the profile to the uh, group. So I have to manually uh, uh, collect them. Eventbrite, uh, in meetup.com, they both have categories. So firstly, it has to be a tech category. Secondly, you might need to have a valid location string. If your location has TBA or nail, you are chucked out. <laughs> Yeah, because the uh, location kind of implies that you're serious about holding the meetup uh, from the past, yeah. But yeah, any other questions? What's your sustainability plan? I mean, uh, uh, this is running on all free. I can tell you uh, we are hosting it on OpenShift by Red Hat. Yeah. And uh, all the static pages are on GitHub, uh, like the data.webuild.sg is a static page. All right, so I just, every week, I just uh, like just churn out the HTML. It's plain bare HTML. There is no magic apart from that. I mean, yeah, it's all free actually. So the sustainability plan is we have already been sustainable for the past three years. You know, that's the good thing about having side projects. It forces you to be sustainable for day one. <laughs> How long does it take to compile the site? A uh, few Minutes. seconds. What? Minutes. With GoLag, it could be a lot. Milliseconds. <laughs> I can actually, I can actually show you guys like what happens. So, if I go to data make, right here, make clean. Yes, clean. So all I have to do is empty. Okay, I did it today morning, so there are no more new JSON files. But this is basically what I do: npm run update. So, oh no! No! Oh no! Oh no! No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's not JS. Yes. No. Oops, no. oops, oops. Does this work offline though? <laughs> Alright, so this is what it does. It does a git pull, it does a build, it does a build for graphs, build for JS. Um, Holy sh I've just died. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got to pull it and I'm not going back. <laughs> Uh, so basically, Kite takes about five seconds to build the site, and I just do it every two right. weeks or. Oh, and you run. What's that? Thirteen. You also have tests. Yeah, I do some tests. <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, yes, uh, cool. Just me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fine. It's not fully tested. I just tested some of them. Okay. Apart from Kai, any other questions from me? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you the total time? No, no, apart from <laughs> <laughs> I could run.
done this on a Raspberry Pi, no, not Raspberry Pi, maybe a bit more powerful CPU, but really who cares? It's really overkill. Don't over engineer stuff. Yeah. All right, if not, uh, I'll be here after the meetup. Let's, let's talk and uh, thank you so much.